Welcome to part four of our series where we're explaining the mark scheme for CSEC English A. I'm Ms. Chanel here to give you the secrets to the CSEC English A exam. And we're going to look at short story narrative question, which is actually two questions in this paper. It's questions three and four, because it's the only section right now that you get an option. I won't go into my feelings on the options, but this is the rubric that exists for both options. So whether you get, whether you do the written prompt or whether you do the image prompt, this is how it's going to be assessed based on the idea you come up with, the story idea you come up with that's associated with either the written prompt or the image, okay? It's got to be associated with the image. Please don't ignore the prompts. If you ignore the prompts, um, you're going to make it much harder for someone to mark you and you're not going to put yourself in a good, you're not going to put yourself on a good path. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. All right. So if you want more breakdown into the criteria, go back to part one of the video. Um, we're going to go straight into the rubric. And like I would have said, if you had seen part three, you, I mentioned that this particular rubric is a bit different from the other so uh you probably are going to notice the difference and that's on the right of the, the table <clears throat> but on the left we still got our uh three bands of superiority competence and incompetence yeah you all should already, you all should already be aware of what incompetence should mean right right just completely sucky there's a lovely little note at the bottom let's see what it says a response that is too short less than a page or 200 words uh they're mentioning 200 words because this is 400 to 450 words so if you have less if you've only made around 200 words that's that's it's half yeah you're probably not gonna tell a good proper story here, yeah um should not be given a mark higher than 14 three uh so I think that 14.3 is referring to here, all right? So if you write a page, they can't give you higher than this, according to this, if I um, write. So, so basically, if you write one page, less than 200 words, you can't get more than 14. Yeah, so let's try and get the other marks. Let's try and get the other marks, right? This is other 25, let's try to get the other marks. So as usual, we're going to start with incompetence, where we do not wish to be. You don't wish to be in incompetence. I don't wish to be incompetent, in incompetence. I'm doing this video so you don't stay in incompetence. Okay, great. So level one incompetence demonstrates that the work is sucky. Level two incompetence suggests that the work is sucky, right? So let's look at what level one indicates. Um, and already you can see, I'm just going back to this. There's no nice three column where we do content organization or content and language separately is because uh, and this is this is my explanation this is not cxc's explanation now when you're doing writing as fictional or creative the organization what you put in it your ideas which is which would be your content um and your language they all kind of fuse together so I'm guessing they fused it. It's so interesting, but for SEA, SEA is um, an exam, I think Barbados and Trinidad to make a right from primary to secondary. Um, the rubric for that is actually separated and I love to use that rubric, but CXC does not for the region use a separated rubric for this. Um, I guess maybe they should, uh, I think maybe they should. I think it's not a bad, bad idea if they should. However, there's nothing. So we're going to go with what's in the official syllabus from the CX of C, right? So let's look at what demonstrating incompetence, incompetence really means here. Total inability to manipulate features of action structure. My translation, I have no idea what's happening in your story. That's basically what it means. Like I've read it and I am so confused. I'm questioning my life existence. Total confusion. No, no beginning, middle, end. Okay. Total inability to organize events and details. No beginning, middle, end. Right. You get up, you cook breakfast, you go back to bed and leave it on the stove. Now, maybe that's somebody's story, right? That could be somebody's story, but that's how confusing your story may be. 
right in terms of the order right we we need we need our events happening in an order that makes sense um you're running away from someone um but you stop to go into the grocery to buy eggs because they're on sale you know it's like why what's happening here is this a comedy right so you we're not even getting uh the writer's true ability shining forth so that i can really as a reader again total confusion yeah total confusion uh see inability to use language accurately your language really sucks the choice of words your grammar mechanics pretty bad pretty 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 bad so this is zero to four right and they mentioned too little information presented to make an assessment it's going to get zero to four zero to four overall so this is zero to four out of 25 right overall so if you've looked at the previous videos and you saw that there was ah oh, zero to four of content let's say somebody getting zero out of zero to four to four in content could still probably get five in <laughs> vibing um organization and maybe a six in language and you get your marks yeah we're gonna have to settle you hardcore in a category very hardcore there's no other information for this in terms of settling it maybe cxe has it for their examiners that's quite possible but this is this is what we have here okay uh let's look at suggestion the suggestion of incompetence so again some ability, actually, I'm not even going to say some ability, an inability to manipulate vital features of action structure. So when it comes to the plot, you're really sucky. When it comes to the events, you're really sucky. Um, and this in, this also includes characterization here. If you if you want to get the, the breakdown, go check part one. And frequent and accurate use of So it's pretty bad. Five to nine is what you get, okay? Five to nine, pretty bad, pretty bad. Let's get to where it's not so bad, right? And if you see me hustling to incompetence, it's because I've read some, I've read some of the incompetent ones, right? It's, it, it can be pretty bad. This is why you need to know the basics of writing for um, fictional or creative purposes. If you understand that, it becomes easier because this is technically a, a section where you can put forth your full creativity, right? The other questions, your creativity is... A, it's there a lot more limited but here full creativity that's why this is fully in the expression profile all right let's move on let's look at i want to make sure i can see this ooh, ooh, very nice okay let's look at competence okay i'm a little more excited because it's getting a little better right so suggestion of incompetence is level three and level four demonstrates competence so you you're you're, you're decent right please don't think competence means that you're the best uh? uh if you've been following the series and you think competence means yeah i'm a top a top it means you're decent okay it's decent you're acceptable all right acceptable acceptable okay understand the words good so level three competence suggests inconsistency in the manipulation of features um some ability to organize events and details so the work is a lot more structured but certain things feel weird like why did the boy who got kidnapped not kick and scream when he saw the meat cleaver uh or when he saw that they were in a factory where they they they, they chop up meat and stuff like that right so it's like certain things like that it's like okay why is he doing that now if there's a reason for him not screaming like he can't speak it's going to make sense you don't even need to mention he didn't scream but i get kidnapped by mystery men and i see i'm in a factory with a lot of sharp implements i may react in some way i'm just saying a character may react okay good so we have inconsistency in manipulation of features and action structure, some ability to organize details, some ability to use language accurately and effectively, but with slight inconsistency in accurate usage. All right. And that can get you 10 to 14. Okay. 10 to 14. Um, then we go to level four competence. Por favor. 
All right, so I flew around. I'm Spanish. I teach Spanish as well, if you don't know. Um, competence level four demonstrates good manipulation of features. So it's so interesting that <laughs> the suggestion of competence does not sound good, right? It's like you have a good story, you have a good story idea, but the full thing didn't get to shine through, right? Whereas with level four, it's like, okay, this is decent. I can work with it. But you can see where stuff can be added. I like to think of level four like that. That's my my layman's, my my version, my analysis of it, how I my interpretation of it, sorry, not my analysis, my interpretation. I start to see it as decent, as acceptable. Um, but I'm seeing where stuff could have been added to it to make it better and that's the superiority i would say comes in so level four competence good manipulation of features of action but with some unevenness in the presentation of the features right so how the information is put forward and i know i'm sounding so much more vaguer here i apologize but i can only sound a bit vague because we're not speaking in concrete terms yet. this is full-blown creativity so i can't uh, you know, sometimes it's a lot easier to do individual feedback for the short stories, right? And if you're someone who's interested in getting your work marked, especially by me, click the link below. I am actually starting classes. If you can get in before the deadline, you will save quite a bit in terms of the fees, which are going to be very affordable. But anyway, Anyway, because I've, I've got different options as well. If you just want me to correct your work, good. If you want me to correct your work and come to class, there's that too. But the point is, I can only tell you what unevenness of features means when I see your work in particular, because you may be doing certain things at certain areas. Every student I've marked for a short story, their issues at certain points. I had a student, his intro out of the world what some of the best introductions i've ever read sorry i don't like the introduction exposition because it's the first paragraph and we go downhill from there after that first paragraph it's the most boring thing i have ever read in my life it's amazing so you know everybody's individual okay um but with level four going back to level four good 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 elements but it's it's it feels like it like i said it feels like it's missing something good organization finally we went from some ability to good so we can see this the, these two competence ranges are very far apart and then c our usual c is language here our usual effective and accurate use of language to there may be a few lapses let me give you a lovely hint please don't think that all those lovely transition words that you learned for argumentative and informative belong here. The nevertheless and the moreovers and the in addition tools, please don't put that in here. It sounds really bad, yeah? If you wanna know why, just comment below and I'll try to make a video. Um, right, so level four, competency 15 to 19. Yeah, 15 to 19. And then we get to superiority. And I know I'm so excited. It's because I write. I'm working on a novel. And I love, love writing. I do absolutely love writing. Um, so I really, I really get excited when I read good work. Yeah. This and argumentative are my favorite two questions in this paper. Um, level five superiority suggests very good manipulation of features of action. So you see that uh we're good but missing something it starts to go away here good manip manipulation of features of action and structure characterization so the characterization so they never mentioned characterization before but suddenly characterization is here so for a superior piece of work i am going to feel the character it's so crazy right but i'm gonna feel the character now very good organization i know i'm a I know when I'm at the exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, into the resolution. I feel the flow, okay? And very good use of language, occasional lapse and whatnot, of accuracy. Ooh, I got too excited. I spoke too quickly. Apologies. This is going to garner you 20 to 23 marks. Wouldn't you feel good to get these marks? Listen, 
I I don't even think about ah, are you producing great work? I think can I give this person this type of mark? Because I want you to get the mark that you deserve for the exam. This mark would help you out a lot. And if you get to level six superiority, um, twenty four to twenty five will be your reward, right? Twenty four to twenty five marks. Excellent manipulation of features of action, structure, and characterization. Right, I can feel the character. Yeah, I can feel the character's needs and wants and their fear and stuff like that. Excellent organization, and you're hitting all the plot points. And excellent, effective, and error free use of language. Wow, gorgeous stuff, right? So, obviously, if you, you again, I, I say I think the language is often that error free part is really the deal to get the full mark. So, no errors that i think is a challenge in an exam and i wish they didn't have it but you know um it's there this is what cxc wants okay so this is the breakdown according to my interpretation of the rubric for short stories slash narrative work questions three and four in paper two if you have any questions about any of the things i've mentioned i didn't say it for the other videos but you can do the same for the previous videos as well just comment it below and I'll be a bit more assiduous with my comment watching and see what your comments are so I can make future videos. The point of this series is to make videos that help you understand little things that can give you bigger results. Because sometimes if someone is going to listen to this and realize, ah, oh, I was supposed to have a beginning, middle, end. And just that alone is going to increase their mark. All right. So thank you so much for your time. Say, uh, look around for part five. It's going to be, well, not our last explainer video. Not our last video, but the last official video on rubric. And we're going to look at argumentative. So I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.